Okay, so this is the March 2011 paper now. It's the Unit 1 Foundation on AQA. That's what it says. Let's see what it says for question 1. We've got a bar chart that shows Callum saving money in January, February, April, and it misses March out. How much does he save in January? Well, a nice easy one to start off with. This bar goes up to 40, so he saves 40 pounds. Okay? Easy first mark on the paper. Just be aware, we might need this. If you count going up, it can't be 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, because obviously that doesn't get from 30 to 40. So every one little square has got to be one little square has got to equal two pounds in this case, because then you can get from 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. You can get from 30 to 40 in the right number of steps. Okay, let's go on. So I've got the same bar chart I've just put um, the next pack of questions in. It says, from January to April, he saves 250 in total. Complete a bar chart. Well, we know this was 40. We can see this is 80. And we can see this is 60. So if we add up 40 plus 60 plus 80, we get a total of uh, 180 pounds savings. So if you got that, you can give yourself a mark. Well, we need to do, he saved a total of 250 for these four months. So if we take away 180 from 250, we're left with 70 pounds left. That's worth a mark. And then you need to add it to your graph. So I'm just going to draw a vertical line up all the way up to, and you have to use a ruler for this, all the way up to 70, and horizontal across as well. Okay, let's just neaten that up a little bit. Okay, so that's our bar chart, that's the third mark for drawing the bar properly. Okay, so I think a nice easy first four marks. Let's see what happens next. This time we've got, um, for the next four months, from so carrying on, same guy Callum, it's gone from uh, May, June, July, August. So two boxes represents 20, so that must be £10 and £10 each. Um, I would just, before I say anything, I would just count these up in case I need them. So we need 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. This is £80 saving. This is a £50 saving. This is £30 of saving. And he saved uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds. There we go. So work out the range it asks for this one. Well, we should know that the range is the biggest answer. Subtract the smallest answer. And the biggest answer, take away the smallest answer, means we're doing 80 minus 30. That would get you one mark. And then having the answer of 50 pounds would get you the second mark. And then it says, for the rest of 2010, Callum saves £50 each month. So I'm just going to write that down. So for September, October, November, December is equal to 4 times 50, which is equal to £200. Uh, having that as a mark. So it, the question actually asks, how much does he save in 2010 in total? Well, let's add on May, June, July, and August, which is from the pictogram above. That is um, 1730 is 100, 180, 230 pounds. But that's not everything. We have to go back to the bar chart because it's only eight months. And we were told, well, we can do it a couple of ways. We can either use the £250 total there, or we can add these up, which is going to be the same anyway. So 40, 60, this was 70 and 80, is 250. So the first four months was also 250. So Jan, Feb, March, and April was £250. So pulling off those two values here gets you the second mark. And then the third mark is for adding it all up together. So that's 200, 400, 600, and 80. So he saves a total of 680 pounds. Then we've got one more question. It also says, Callum spends 50% of these savings to pay for a holiday. How much does he pay for the holiday? Well, bringing the answer across, 
it was 680, wasn't it? So to find half of that, you could just use your calculator. So whatever number you put, even if you got that question wrong before, as long as you find half of the wrong answer, you can still get these two marks. So um, 340 is half. So that's the answer. That's how much you paid for a holiday. £340. So it's a nice percentage and some uh, general graph stuff there. Um, pause it or rewind it or re watch it again if you need to.